Hey there folks, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace your Chevy emblem on the back hatch of your Chevy Equinox here. We're gonna be replacing ours with this light up emblem here. It's an LED one. So we're gonna be taking a couple panels off the inside of the trunk and we'll show you the entire process. So let's get started. All right, so first thing you wanna do is open up your trunk and on the handle where you pull it down here, there's this little cover. You're just going to use a panel popper like this one and pop it off. Nice and easy. And then there's a single screw in here. This is a Torx T27 bit. You're just gonna remove that. All right, then you're gonna reach in through here. Just be careful not to scratch your paint. If there's a section you can pull down, this has been removed once, so it's a little easier. Any parts that are difficult to remove, just use your panel pop. And again, I don't need to because I took it off once already. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a close up of the bolts that we're going to be removing here. And then I'm gonna set you down on the tripod to do the service. So right inside this slot, there's one right there. And then if you move over, there is one right there. Another one third one right there and then your fourth and last one is right there so a quick note to make you may need a couple extensions to reach into this and then you just simply remove them all right so that's all four bolts out so we're just gonna close the hatch real quick, just partially so we don't lock ourselves out and show you the rest. All right, so now that you got all four bolts removed, this just pops off. If it's the first time coming off, these retainer clips might need to be pushed out from the other side. You can also tap these studs out from the back and it should ease it out a little bit. So now we're just going to remove a couple of these styrofoam washers. They're just meant for noise so it's not rattling back and forth. And I'll zoom you in real quick. So you see our Chevy logo is right here. If you look right at the back of it, just in between these two studs, there's a couple of screws that holds on the emblem. So we're just going to hold back our plastic right here and unscrew it. And I'll get the right bit and show you which one it is in just a sec. All right, so just quickly one more time, just right here is the one screw. And if you look on the other side, that is the other screw we're going to be removing. So all you have to do is pull this plastic back just a little bit. And unscrew it. All right, so now that everything's off there, we're gonna very carefully reach in. I like to reach in the top portion here, right underneath the chrome. And pop it off just like that. Just be careful not to scratch any of your paint here. Nice amount of dirt, we'll clean that up with some rubbing alcohol and we'll be good to put our new emblem on. Right, so just temporarily an easy way to get this done is put this piece back on, this trim piece, and just put one of the 10 mil bolts on that we removed to take this off. That way it's not hanging everywhere and breaking any wires. So we're just going to clean it up. This is just water, then I'm gonna use rubbing alcohol next to make sure it's absolutely clean and it evaporates any moisture. All right, so now this is not a bolt-in one, this is a stick-on one. So we are not using these two bolt holes, so we can utilize them to feed our wires through to wire them up. So we're just gonna push them on through Once you got them through the other side, you can stick on your emblem. Just peel your adhesive back. I just carved out a little groove in there for the wire to sit in. All 
All right, and then you just want to align it as best as you can. And I like to just hold it down for a little while there. All right, now it is time to wire up the lights. All right, so we're just gonna be tapping into our tag light. That's the light that shines down on the license plate. So we're just gonna twist it out just like that. This will make it easier to splice in to our wire. All right, so just off camera, I used a couple of T-taps here and I wired them into our tag light. I will do another video separately how to tap wires with a T-tap connector here. It's just a little bit tight to get in with our crimpers and all that. So we're just gonna tape up the ends here once we're done. So now that that's all wired up, your green here, it's got a little red strip. That is your positive and your black is your negative. So wire that accordingly. So we're just... All right, before we get everything back together, I like to clean down this area here, get some rubbing alcohol, spray it on nice and liberally. Give it another wipe and you will see most likely there is a bit of rust forming on some of these holes to take care of that we are just going to be using some fluid film this is not sponsored i just like using this stuff give it a thin coating not too much because you don't want it to drip just like that and this goes for any panels that you take off when you have the panel off regardless of where it is on the vehicle just give it a shot just like that and you'll be good to go It'll help hold the rust at bay for just a little bit longer. So now we're going to line all of our screw holes and our clips into their appropriate places here. Once everything's into place, we'll bolt it all from the other side. All right, so now these all go back in the exact same place where you took them off. So just choose one. And just take the extension without your ratchet just to start gently feed it on now on mine one of the retainer clips on the far side here on the passenger side actually snapped off because it was so rusty don't be surprised if that happens to you that happens a lot we still do have three that are holding it into place Then you put your ratchet on and tighten it down. Just go snug. You don't have to go super tight. You just want it snug enough so it's not rattling around, but you don't want to break anything off. All right, folks. So now you're just going to line up all those plastic pieces on the panel that I showed you in all their holes and pop them together and put the screw in. All right, and then we just put our screw back in to the handle again. And you put your protective decorative cover back on. So you'll see there is a curve to it. The curve faces the top. All right, folks, so the sun is set far enough down to show off this emblem to you guys to see how it looks in the dark. So we're just gonna go ahead and start the car and see how it looks. All right, so I'd say that is absolutely amazing. Definitely a very sharp piece for this vehicle and actually any vehicle for that matter. So I give that a thumbs up. Should definitely get yourself one of these. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.